we are here at the Primate Quarantine, which is a backstage area at the Memphis Zoo. And we've been rearing our tadpoles here um, for the last month. So one exciting thing that has happened in the last month is the eggs that were laid in our man-made ponds have hatched and now we have tadpoles that we're taking care of so that we can raise them up and then release them into the wild. Tadpoles are about a month or so old. They'll develop here until June-ish, May or June, when they start having their back legs out, they start having their front legs out, and then they absorb their tails. Once they've finished that process and become juvenile frogs, then we release, release them down at our field site where we're doing our surveys right now. Down at Ward Bayou, now that the fence has been put up and is in place, we've been doing several different types of surveys. So we've been doing the primary drift fence survey with that fence, checking for frogs along the fence, checking the pitfall trap buckets to see if they've fallen in. And then we're also doing aquatic surveys where we're walking through the pond, collecting eggs and tadpoles that we might suspect are dusky gopher frog. And then we're also doing transect surveys through the upland forest area surrounding the pond, looking to see at night if there are any dusky gopher frogs or other amphibian herp fauna life around. And then lastly, we're also doing burrow surveys, which involves taking that telescoping burrow camera down into burrows to see if we can find any tortoises and any herp occupants, such as dusky gopher frogs. In their name, Dusky Gopher Frog, it is partly because of the fact that in the, the natural habitat, they are occupying burrows made primarily by gopher tortoises. So it's really important for us to find gopher frogs in these gopher tortoise burrows because it's a sign that they're doing well and they're occupying the habitat and area as we would expect them to. So one thing that's really exciting for us within the past month and a half is that we've found three young juvenile dusky gopher frogs occupying these gopher tortoise burrows and occupying them at the same time as gopher tortoises, which is really exciting to see and promising.